there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to be here with you today for this quite impromptu video. Normally, I don't do videos except on Friday afternoons. Mostly that's when I do them because I only have to work in the morning on Fridays. I wash my hair, I have a video planned in advance and I cut it Friday afternoon because that gives me more time on the weekend with Alan. I can usually get the editing done on Friday afternoon as well. So that's kind of how I normally do my videos and I plan ahead and all of that. Well, basically this is Memorial Day weekend here in Wichita, Kansas. I guess it is everywhere. But I went over to Ulta because I thought the Tarte Lights Camera Mascara was on sale. It's Tarte Lights Camera Action Mascara, yes. But come to find out it wasn't and for some reason i wanted to get that it is one of my more favorite mascaras but my really favorite mascara is this stila and i found out coincidentally that it was on sale today because they're having memorial day sale so i went ahead and purchased this again this is the new stila that i purchased but when i was there i realized that they have a brand new mascara out and this is the MAC Magic Extension 5mm Fiber Mascara. It says, ditch your false lashes. 90% said lashes achieved over the top exaggerated volume. 94% said lashes looked longer, fuller, and lifted. And so I could not resist this, even though it is $25. And apparently there are no reviews online about this at all, because I looked when I was in Ulta. Normally I do that to see if I'm going to buy something. But there were no reviews because this is the number one release date. And I am not Miss Makeup. Usually I'm not on top of these things. But I was so excited to get this because I thought I will buy this and I bought my new Stila and I thought, well, I will go home and in a few days, once I take my mascara off that I have for the day, I'll try it out and maybe do a video about it. And then I thought, Beth, you're an, a dummy here. I shouldn't call myself a dummy. That's negative. I'm trying not to be negative. But I realized that one of the things I do on my channel is makeup reviews and this is the first day of the new release of this. So I thought, what a perfect time to get on camera real quick with you guys very impromptu and try my favorite mascara on one eye and i'll even put this on my bad lash eye this is my bad lash eye i don't know if you can see it but i have fewer lashes in the middle here and that's just always been the way it is a little more sparse but i'll use the stila here and i'll use this mac brand new mascara here kind of a mascara wars and we will see if it works but first, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all of the things that make us look and feel our best at 30 plus, 40 plus, 50 plus, then I hope you'll join the 50 plus beauty family by subscribing to my channel and or giving this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's get into this. And I will say, normally I have kind of a fresh makeup on when I do my videos. I did not today, so I just came home and I applied a little bit of lipstick, and this is the You Wouldn't Get It MAC lipstick. Here it is. And I actually put this in a video recently. I love it. This is my second tube. It is a Your Lips But Better lipstick that uh, looks nude, but more of a rosy nude. Really like that. And I put a little bit of this over, and this is the Flower Beauty, Flower Beauty in Spiced Petal, which is a dupe for Pillow Talk, which is one of my all-time favorite nudes. So there that is. Then I used a little bit of this Milani lip pencil on top of that. I'm sharing this stuff with you because I'm not doing a lot of dedicated makeup videos, but when I find great products, I do like to share them. So those are great ones. Now I am noticing looking at my face that I need a little bit more blush. And so I'm going to use my favorite blush right now. This was also in a recent video. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Love Glow. Love Glow. So here we go. We'll just put that on there. Boom, 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 boom. Make me hopefully look a little less ghostly. I look a little ghostly today. And it's a crazy day in Wichita because it is May 30th. And you would think it's looking like I'm spring, summer, you would think, because I made myself wear this, but the house is cold. I actually was wearing a sweater and boots out today. I looked very wintry because Kansas has decided that it's going to extend rainy wintry weather into june so it's crazy so anyway there's that now i notice i also look a little i look a little puffy today so i'm going to go in with my favorite sculpting highlighter product and actually i'll just use the sculpt part this is charlotte tilbury what's it called it is called film star bronze and glow film star 
So today I'm a film star and I'm bronzing and glowing, but you see how that pulled in that side of my face. Once in a while I accidentally wear chocolate bars over there, though I need to be careful. But look how that pulled in that side of the face. This one's still puffy. So I'm going to bring that in a little bit on the side of the nose, tip of the nose, and then I'm going to bring in the jaws. Look how much better that looks over there. See? Looks a lot better. I just lost five pounds. It's an easy way to lose five pounds. Okay, there's that. And I would normally actually go in with this little bit of a glow highlighter up here, but my favorite highlighter is a little more glammy and gleamy. And it is this Flower Beauty contouring palette, Lift and Sculpt contouring palette, and I broke it. I broke the bronzer, but I absolutely love this highlighter. And I'm going to try to find this again because I love this thing. I've had it for several years. But this is the highlighter, and look what it does. See, it just gives me a, a real glow. And I like that Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, but it is much more subtle. And once in a while, I just like to have a really strident highlighter. The bronzer in that Charlotte Tilbury palette is the best I found because it is kind of a universal color and blends beautifully and makes everybody lose five pounds. So that Charlotte Tilbury, I really recommend probably above this, but if you want just a kind of a, a very strident highlighter, see that? How it just gives you a glow. And most, most older women don't like that much glow, but God, I am so sorry. I am in this wild mood today. I guess it's because I didn't anticipate doing a video, so I guess you're seeing more of the real me. Okay, let's see. Okay, now, I've already put on my eyeshadow, although it looks like I need a little more. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette, and I love it. It's a guilty pleasure because it is $65 freaking dollars, $65, but this is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, and as you can tell, I am hitting pan already, and I've probably only had this maybe three months, but I cannot bring myself not to use this. I love it. Maybe I'll add a little bit more in the transition area. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to get my favorite brushes, and these are the Lisa J brushes, and I can't remember what they're called. What are they called? They are called BK Beauty, and I love this, and her brand is called BK Beauty because it means be kind, and oh my, we need that so much, and I think that is the best religion that anyone could have is to be loving and be kind. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of that transition color here, which is called crease, just put a little more there. And these brushes are fabulous. I'll link them below. They just are so soft and look how blended that looks. It's almost impossible to get too, a look of too much makeup because these brushes almost have the blender built right in them. They are, they are fabulous brushes. Very, very pretty. Okay, there we go. I think that looks good. Good enough because this is about the mascara, not really about the makeup. And I love this glowy color here. And you can tell I use a lot of it. It is called Inner Corner. Just a little bit of that there. I already have my eyeliner on though, so I need to be careful. So there is that. Very pretty. And I did something a little different, and that is that because I have a blue top on, and because if you have brown eyes, accenting with a little blue is a wonderful thing to make your brown eyes pop pop. And again, I'm using the BK Beauty brush. This is a fabulous brush to get that little perfect line of eyeshadow under your eyes. And this is the Color Me Beautiful Single Eyeshadow in Teal Zeal. And I will try to put a link below to this wonderful lady who introduced me to these. And I think she has a discount code. So you can get this at a discount. But you can't just get this in the stores. This is Color Me Beautiful. And see how it just kind of gave kind of a pop to my eyes? That blue does that. Really, really pretty. Okay, now let's get into the Mascara Wars. And first, I'm just going to use a, an old grungy toothbrush to brush those lashes out. Then I'm going to use my eyelash curler. And this is my Surratt eyelash curler. And I actually always usually 
if I have the room, I list this in my makeup list below the video because I think this is a fabulous eyelash curler. Look, it really made those lashes curl. Just hold it for about five. But I really, really like that. Better turn my phone off. I just heard it beep. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. And I am really excited about this. I'm going to come in really close because we are going to see which of these mascaras do a fabulous job. And quite honestly, if the MAC isn't as good as the box says it is, it is going back because it's expensive. It's like $25. So, and this one was on sale. And this is my favorite mascara of all time. It's the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And I'll go ahead and just put it on this side. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get some on the back of the lashes. I wish you could see that. I guess you can. Hopefully, not in front of you. And I like this mascara because it thickens, it lengthens, it just gives you a very kind of lash extension look. I've always thought it looked a little like a lash extension. Now, I'm going to let that dry. Well, no, maybe I'll go ahead and put coat two on there. I always do two coats because I like those glammy lashes. This, again, is my my sparse side of my lashes. Looking over here in a mirror that's right beside me. Okay, there is that set of lashes. And I just love that mascara. I think it's so pretty, really, really good. Okay, now let's get into this guy. And it certainly has all the bells and whistles on the outside. And we will see which one wins. But I am very, very, very excited about this. Look at that cute little glam package. It's yellow and black and white magic extension, MAC magic extension. So we will see. Actually, in looking at the brush, I should have showed you the other one. Maybe I will in a minute. But this brush doesn't look as fabulous as the other. The other looks like, kind of like it has a waist on it. Okay, now I'm going to go on the back. And the lady in the store said that she had tried this, Lady at Ulta, and she said it was really great. Although she she actually loved Stila too. She loved my she loved mine. Okay, let me let me go get my metal lash comb. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the Stila. I just have to poke it with my hand. My, that's pretty. Oh my. Oh my, I wonder if I have a new favorite. I hope not. Because it is expensive. Whoops, got a little bit of clump coming out. Oh my. And they say that it builds volume and length. And that it's one of those fiber mascaras. Oh my, I think I'm really, really, really liking this. Oh my. You guys, I know, <laughs> I need more of a vocabulary than oh my. You do have to work with it. I better stop. Oh my, I like that. Let's try a, a little bit of brushing those lashes. Okay, this is the MAC, and I think that's a very beautiful mascara, and this is the Stila. Oh, you tell me in the comments what you think. Okay, that was a look at the Mascara Wars, and I think both of them are really, really good. I have to admit, I think you'd be happy with either one of them. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been loving Louise Hay lately. I mean, I have been listening to her audiobooks, I've been watching her YouTube videos, 
Unfortunately, she has passed from this world, but I think she's just just another just another universe away and that she's there for us to call on if we if we need her and I think she's wonderful. But these are her Life Loves You cards. It says 52 card deck from Louise Hay. And so here we go. Let's go ahead and choose hopefully a very good positive thought to think about from Louise Hay. And here it is. Well, the front says, I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. And this is what I say to myself in the mirror. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. And do that in the mirror in the morning when you're getting ready. Just say, I love you. I accept you. I love you. Because it feels so good to love and accept yourself. And a lot of us don't. I mean, I have a lot of self-hatred that likes to rear its ugly head. And I think a lot of people do. But on the back, it says, your self-image is made up of your judgments. It's not the real you. Sit for 10 minutes with this question. What's it like to be me? What's it like to be me when I'm not judging myself? What's it like to be me when I'm not judging myself? Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card and it's so true. And especially this last line, you know, take 10 minutes and I totally believe in meditation. And I hope you'll take 10 minutes and just quiet your mind and just listen to your breathing a little bit. And then ask the question, what's it like to be when I'm not judging myself? Put away all that judgment for just a few moments and think, you know, what is the real me like? And when you really ask yourself that question, I think we all realize that the real us is a kind, loving human being, one of God's creations, that basically we just need to love and accept ourselves because God does not make junk. Absolutely. And we're here on this earth for a reason. It's to love and accept ourselves so we can love and accept each other. And you know, the Indians have a phrase and they say, you know, here's a tree. Why would the branches fight against the tree? Why would the branches fight against the tree? And really that is so true of all of us. All of us are made in the image of God. We have the light of love inside us. We're basically all connected. I totally believe that. And so when we fight with others, it's kind of like we're fighting against ourselves. And so one thing I've been trying to do is that I've been trying to look at everyone out there, even those that I have differences with, and realize that we are all in this together, that we're all one big family, and to be kind and loving to myself and as kind and loving to others as possible. I hope you'll join me in that today. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.